so to access to uh, access the visual builder studio um so it 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 is not provision to a production instance so usually two instances will be provided right uh, so that's the default one is production and another one is test so by default visual builder studio will come for test environment only okay and uh, as of now at a time um, so only one uh, test instance will have the uh, VBS, vbs access so that means if even if you have uh, multiple development environments and uh, test environment so um <clears throat> suppose dev1 dev2 dev3 then test prod so you you might have uh, five environments right so this visual builder studio will come only for the four for any one of the four prods any one of non production pods so <clears throat> suppose if if you have uh, by default it will be uh, it is there for test environment so if you want to move this uh, vbs instance through some dev dev one instance so you can raise an sr and then you can change uh, so from the end, from the that uh, vbcs uh, provision instance you can connect uh, any one of any instance like uh, production or test or other dev environments and then you can work from the same um, visual builder so you, because you are pointing to uh, another environment so the the data model or uh, the the endpoints will point to that and it will it will be taken from that basically similarly uh, if you when when you connect uh, to pod now production instance so that will be helpful again to deploy from your uh, dev instance or test instance to production instance uh, for provisioning this visual builder tool uh, so it also need to be uh, synced uh, your user in idcs so visual builder uh, is tightly uh, coupled with idcs uh, so all the so if you have uh, if your user is added into idcs with certain roles so then only you will get access to visual builders so these are the uh, steps basically if we you need to go to identity cloud service uh, portal so it it will be there uh, for every instance uh, so but you need uh, some oci credentials to log into this uh, identity cloud service so there you need to select the environment the dev service app auto and this environment and inside that you can you can go to uh, the roles developer administrator or developer user so from here you can add the users or you can add the groups okay so if these roles are available from uh, idcs side so then visual builder access will come um so there is one more way um, so either in idcs you need to add your user to developer administrator or developer user so that the visual builder studio will come the another way is uh, from fusion side okay um same developer administrator to add this uh, role or to sync uh, to idcs so you can add application administrator or sales administrator custom crm application administrator or sync enabled administrator identity so any one of all these uh, five or four right yeah four roles will have uh, uh, this access so if you add from fusion side to a role or to a new user so it will be synced to idcs and then you can enable um so 
after after that sync happens so then you will get access to uh, visual builder studio and tool same with developer user so the application developer and synchronization enabled developer will have uh, this access so it will be synced to idcs so basically idcs is a uh, uh, is an instance uh, like where all the uh, access and uh, SSO related uh, things will be uh, stored. So we it, it, we need to sync uh, these changes and then only it will identify. To edit any visual builder page, so this particular privilege, functional privilege uh, need to be assigned. By default, sales administrator, application administrator, and application developer, CRM application developer will have this, this privilege. So if you want for any custom roles, you can just add this functional privilege. Okay. So 